Red Station po ni. Paano natin sila matuturuan ng disiplina? Or si Arcusen Basu. Good morning everyone. We're back on the ETSA busway with the Special Action Intelligence Committee for Transportation under the DOTR. Now we're not expecting to see many bus lane violators this morning. It's around 4.30 a.m. You can see the traffic is flowing very fast in the regular lanes. Most of the time people use the bus lane to avoid the rush hour traffic. They don't want to wake up early. They want to be VIPs. They want to use the bus lane. Now, aside from apprehending violators, they are obviously here to help commuters. They've been assisting people on and off the buses, guiding them to the correct place, trying to prevent them from jaywalking, which is a huge problem in this area. In fact, let's walk a little further along and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, here he goes. My goodness, so dangerous. Really, it's too dangerous. If you're well enough to run across a highway, you're not only risking yourselves, you're risking innocent drivers, innocent motorcycle riders. And it just brings disorder to the system. Even the buses, they have to keep slowing down in the busway because there are so many people walking here. And I've heard the security guards shouting at them, saying, don't cross the road, don't cross the road. And they don't listen. Even the enforcers here, they're telling them, stop it, don't do it. They don't listen. And unfortunately, they're not deputized to actually apprehend for jaywalking because typically that comes under the LGU ordinances. Now, when I arrived here, I went up the steps of the MRT and that's how I got into the busway without having to run across the highway. Problem is, well, apart from the risk to them, if you hit them and you're driving a car, you will be arrested for reckless imprudence. Now, if you have a good lawyer and you have enough money, you'll probably be able to resolve the case. But still, you are going to have a nightmare. It's going to be one of the worst experiences of your life. I remember a motorcycle that hit a jaywalker before on Edsa. The motorcycle fell down and then the jaywalker just left him. Imagine that, you caused an accident for a motorcycle ride and you just left him laying in the road injured. I know it's a little bit dark, but you can probably see his outline as the lights shine on him. He went down from the bus and now he's going to run across the highway. It's really dangerous, super dangerous. Now I try not to talk for too long in my videos and I'm sure some people are already bored of this topic. But I just want to talk about the anti-jaywalking operations I joined before by enforcers that are deputized to apprehend people. It has got to be one of the worst jobs because most of the time the jaywalkers are apprehending, they do not comply. They don't want to stop. They don't want to show any ID. They do not want to cooperate. They want to force their way out of the situation. And the enforcers were not allowed to detain someone. They're not allowed to grab onto the person. So it was a big headache really really challenging to do that job because you just don't have enough power and the enforcer just got the license from this driver and he's issuing a ticket for illegal loading unloading the busway system is meant to be very strict on where passengers can go down where they can load unload that was one of the big problems they had on Edsa before so they can't afford to let it slip those drivers that don't follow the rules, they are going to be ticketed. And just a quick correction, it's not actually illegal loading, unloading. The violation is this. And apparently first apprehension is 1,000 pesos. And they do confiscate the license. And that is very important because you might remember before when MMDA contacted LTO and said, please suspend, I think over 1,000 licenses because they had so many unpaid violations they were collecting ticket after ticket after ticket they were never paying any of them so at least with SAICT confiscating the license there's a much bigger chance that that penalty is actually going to be paid wow that's a heavy penalty but honestly I agree with it because this bus system is so important to the economy it's so important to EDSA it solved so many problems but if they let it fall apart, like how the buses used to be on EDSA, oh my goodness, everyone will suffer. So I do support the heavy penalty and I definitely support confiscating the license because of that history of bus drivers not paying their violations. Again, I'm not saying everyone, but if MMDA are asking LTO to suspend over a thousand licenses due to so many unpaid tickets, well, obviously there's a problem. Some of the drivers had over 100 unpaid violations. This was a few years ago but it still gets to me, like they're just playing the system basically.